Actually, you know what? Check this out. This is an interesting view. We've got a view from the sky at some of the damage done by Irma across Tampa. Uh, it's a good perspective, right, Katie? You can see this from above and well, get a good it visual. Is. Yeah, you know, we were driving around here um, late last night. I guess it was really early today. The days kind of blend together uh, since we've been doing this wall-to-wall -wall coverage. And, you know, when you're driving up on these things at night, uh, they look completely different. So that aerial perspective really gives you, look at that, really gives right. you an idea of what Mother Nature can do, just the, the strength of those gusts. Of course, and that's it, the gusts. When you see that, you can just imagine how the wind was able to pull that red tarp or, you know, apron up. Oh, tree. See oh, yeah, tree, right there? tree, yeah. And this is why, you know, some of you are probably wondering why your neighbor has power and you don't. You're this looking at a it lot, doesn't right it? there. Exactly. The and we had a lot of frustrated calls and posts on Facebook and on Twitter about this because people are saying, you know, I don't understand. It seems like I should have my power back on, too. Well, look at this. Look Ooh, at that roof. That roof is gone. Yeah, they're going to have to that redo. person who shows up and they've got to call the insurance adjuster and try and figure that one out. And it's been raining in there, too. So of it's going to be wet. A lot of people, you know, going through a lot of suffering. We've been talking about how fortunate we were, but we have to remember that a lot of our viewers were not fortunate. Oh, no, of course not. And then, of course, the surprise when you do show up at home, you're finally thinking, I can rest. Yeah. And you see that. It's tough. That's it really not, not fun coming out of a shelter no. to that.